Hello everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Beginner Engine tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create a reflective or glossy material and then apply it in your level. Now this is really beginner level stuff but it's still super useful because it shows you how you can create materials and modify them, edit them really quickly and effectively for the use of the same materials in your levels and your video games. To do that we'll simply create a new material, new material instance and then we're going to edit it through only two nodes in the editor itself from which we'll get that varying degree of glossiness or reflectiveness for any material you might like. So for starts let's create a new material, you can do that by simply uh, right clicking and show taking on the material option, here it is, we're going to call it reflect and we're going to edit it by double clicking on it and we are going to get our basic material editor right here. The two nodes we want to edit here are base color, which we are going to use to yeah, change the color of the same material. And the second one is roughness. Now this might be a little counterintuitive, but when you think about it, roughness actually is a level of reflectiveness. The more rough a material is, the less reflective it will be to light. So for start, we're going to create first the change of the base color and for do, to do that we're going to change it by using the constant tree vector. Here we have, when you search for constant, you have several options, constant 2, 3, 4, but we're going to choose constant tree vector. Here it is, we're going to connect it to base color. And from here on out we can change the color, you see RGB options here, or you can simply click on this bar here and change it to whatever you like. To get it to be an interesting color, at least for me, let's go for some kind of a bluish tint like this. Now this will take some time to load and to get ready, but that's the preview element of the Unreal Engine, which takes its free time sometimes, at least on my computer. The second option we're going to choose because it did choose, right now it did restart, we're going to wait a second, if not we're going to edit it through this RGB elements here. So let's give it a try again, and if it's still same, okay let's try it like this, and we're going to go for something, yeah we can take something that's ah, close enough. Um, so here it is, here is our color and now we're going to go for the roughness and for that we just need a constant. Here it is, it uploaded it or uh, it's now ready, it will be on the preview as well. This is a constant and it has a simple value from 0 to however like. However we're going to move it to the node of roughness. Let's keep it at zero and we're going to connect to roughness, here it is. Now if we set a value of one, the roughness will be complete and it's going to be completely non-glossy, non-reflective. But if we set it to something like roughness 0.01, it will have a significant amount of glossiness to it. But we first need to save it it will again need to kind of sync it with the rest of the level. The process will take a moment or two, again depending on your the quality of your computer. And there it is, we have our glossy, almost glassy looking material. So let's try it out in the level. We're going to add a simple sphere. Let's make it bigger and on it we're going to simply move over the same reflective material, drag and drop it and here it is. You can barely see the difference in color but let's see how it looks in the game. 
here it is it's pretty reflective as you can see there is my reflection of my player character but from here on out we can change the same level of reflectiveness here by stepping it up for example at 0 05 and from 0 05 we can see that it's a lot less reflective so let's try it out in the game again and the level of reflectiveness is clearly gone. There is some reflectiveness still left, but it's nowhere near the lower amount that we set when we set this, the constant to, like I said, we can go even lower 0.01 and then save it again. And we'll get back that same level of glossy reflective material that we saw in the first moment. So there you have it, the simple, easy process of creating a glossy reflective material. It only uses two constants, like I said, constant three vector and constant, and you have your nice glossy shiny material that you can change in color and roughness level, which again equals glossiness. So there you have it. This is a simple and easy tutorial on creating this type of material. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're a Unreal Engine aficionado like me and especially if you're just starting to work inside of the same ecosystem. Of course, leave a like. If you have any questions, please leave them as well. I would love to answer them. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next Unreal Engine beginner tutorial clip. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.